Hello, my name's Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with a big festive game jam. The big festive game jam was put on by the Game Dev Network, which is a network of game developers, I suppose. The theme for this jam was Surprise. I'll be playing all of the games that were entered this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out on social media, etc. This video is also brought to you in part by the lovely people on Patreon who support me each month so I can continue to record all of these indie games and game jams and make all of this content. If you like this content, consider supporting me for a dollar a month. Links to that is also in the description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Next, we're playing Undead Party. Middle Ages, the Harvest Festival. All the people have fun and walk, rejoicing in this wonderful day. But then someone comes to the stage. Who is he? And what kind of strange... And what kind of strange thing is in his hands? The stranger begins to play terrible, unknown music. People are terrified. The dead climbed up from the earth. People in a panic clutch at the pitchfork. But the mysterious man has already fled. Are we the mysterious man? Are we the people? Who knows? Ah, the game suddenly switched window sizes. That's fun. Well, bam. There we go. Okay, so I've, I feel like... Is this sort of like a tower defense game? This is money. Probably need money. Probably should have put money before grave. I don't think we have enough. Because it doesn't tell us the prices of anything, so I feel like this... Oh, we got 90 back. Ugh. Can we reset? Build a new cemetery. Alright. Ah! Alright, so, we're back at this point. It does tell us what all, well, what most of these things are on the game's page, but it doesn't say what a lot of them are, which is a bit weird. Um, so, like, it doesn't have that money bag, for example. If a peasant's killed, hauls corpse, dining rooms for knights, gyms, we're under in trains, so I guess we need... gyms? Gyms are, like, the, nice, the nicest thing. You guys, train. Go to the gym. I don't really know how to make them do anything. Oh, did I click this for more money? Who knows? It's still highlighted, which feels like I could still have it, you know? Next. We're playing Balloon Kid. Our head's literally made of a balloon. Ah, oh, okay, so... We can kind of go down, or we can sort of float... Does that make sense? We can't go up. We can sort of slow, float in place. There's a lot of stuff we need to avoid. Uh, we probably should get a heart at some point, but... I'm kind of focused on coins at the moment. Alright, now there's even more. Even more spikes to avoid. Who put all these spikes in the air? Didn't they know I'm a balloon kid? Alright, so far so good though, you just simply avoid things. Oh. <laughs> we restart when we get hit as well. Next. We're playing Santa Quest, The Journey to Hell, Michigan. <laughs> okay. Help us, San uh, Satan. Stole the surprise box. We can't make toys without it. Okay. Please, Santa, they stole your sleigh. We don't know what to do. Alright, I'm going. Oh, I need to avoid it. I was like, oh, that's Satan. Let's kill it. This is, this is tricky. A lot of this is gonna be memorization, I think. Uh, no. So now I've gotta memorize to that point.
we're playing Christmas Catastrophe. Okay. There's D and arrow keys to move, make, uh, make the star hit the gift. Ah, oh, I see, okay. So not only are we a crappy cat, but we also want to destroy Christmas gifts. So I feel like if we just hit it now, it'll just get caught. Yeah, so we kind of needed to... Yeah! Alright. I want to go. Nope, didn't quite make it. This is a neat idea for a puzzle game. I haven't played one quite like this. Nope, that falls more flat. Hmm, interesting. Next. We're playing Square Escape. Press space to begin the escape. Or press space to die. How do I jump? Oh, uh, okay. So you can use arrow keys to move, but you can't use arrow keys to jump. However, you can use WASD to move and jump. I automatically use arrow keys and <sighs> We're not good at escaping. I feel like because the background is rushing up that I need to hurry, but maybe I don't. Maybe I should just take with Ooh, it's a new level. This is super challenging. Okay. Did I make it? Yes. No. Needs more checkpoints, this game. I feel like I'd probably do better if I can restart the level as opposed to restarting completely. But I do like how the levels are different, apart from this first one. Next. We're playing the Dark Dirk of Oversized Guys Surprise. A lot of words in there. Oh, this person. Yeah, it's quite surprising. And I can only hit from like really close. So I have to go, 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 and then back up. Okay. Ooh, that was a huge hit. Ugh. Yes, this is kind of a slow game. You have to just keep. Oh, so if you go from behind. Alright, so if we like shine our light away. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh. Because that kind of com like comboed up when we hit him when we were surprising him. Ugh, 53. Darn it. Yeah, we didn't do well. It's a cool concept, though. Next. We're playing Bouncy Bear. Alright, so we're this bear, and we can kind of bounce around and collect honey. Also, we're wearing a Christmas hat. That's an important part of this. So far, there's nothing that could actually kill us. Which is fine. Oh, we could probably fall off. Maybe not. I feel like that bar at the bottom is sort of getting smaller. Now we're being really pushed the other way. Huh. It's a pretty simple game concept. But it works. I like the ragdolliness of the bear. I feel like it's going to keep getting smaller and smaller until it's like nearly impossible to stay on. Yeah. Next. We're playing Wrapping Factory. Let's do tutorial. Um, fix stuff, go into categories, broken stuff, go fix. Okay, cool. So, like, a ball goes in the ball. This goes in this. And then it gets wrapped. This is a very efficient way to wrap stuff. The elves have things figured out. The graphics is really simple but nice. We'll need to fix that. Okay. Good, good. Hope everyone gets one of these four toys that they want for Christmas. My brother actually collects uh, nutcrackers. He really loves them. Um, that's what I'm guessing the third one is. I like some of his favorite toys. I used to have like, a little rocking pony as a kid. 
a jack in the box at one point, but I didn't really like it. And of course everyone's had balls. Oh, there you go. No broken toys for the children. Just a simple sorting game. Aw. Next. We're playing Eyes? Was what it was called, but it says Surprise is a completely different game called Climb to the Top. Yeah, so it said that it was a horror game where people are watching you. I can't jump. But actually, it's not a horror game. It's a surprise. Why can't I jump this high? Surely I should be able to make the first jump, right? Look, there's all this parkouring we can do. Ah, uh, we can double jump. I don't know why I don't just try that. Yeah, okay. So far, I'm not very good at this game. Well, I'm I'm very relieved it's not a horror game because I'm I overjumped that. I'm not very into horror games. I think it's a pretty interesting way to uh, use the theme. I might go next up there, right? If we go like, maybe we're supposed to jump across. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm really great at parkour? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to make it over there. Nope. We were closer though. There we go. Oh, almost over jumped it, but didn't quite. I have no idea how to do this, so... Next. I'm playing wrong places. Oh, I didn't read the first one, sorry. Voice. Bad things happen to witches in the wrong places. Any city born knows that. And you're still going, aren't you? Fine, don't listen to me. I'm the only the voice in your head. Arrow keys to walk. Okay, please keep out. A shadow appears. A shadow. I've heard about them, but I've never thought, well, whatever you do, don't let it touch you. Okay. What are you waiting for? You're carrying that spell blaster around for no reason. Left mouse, F, okay. Oh, I, was, I keep clicking by mistake and because it's any key to continue, it continues the story. I wish it was a set key, like, I don't know, F. We've heard stories, right? How shadows used to be, how shadows like that used to be like us. Witches that get lost in the wrong place eventually lose themselves too or never leave. Is that why you're here? Whatever you're looking for, I hope you find it. I like the graphics in this, though, they're really nice. Would you look at that? A city born hunter in the, my woods. Well, not my woods per se. I don't physically own the dead to them or anything, and I suppose they're technically public properly, property. Never mind. That is beside the point. Leave now if you know it's good for you, city slicker. You won't like what's waiting for you if you don't. I'm going to continue. Ah, uh, because we had to, because of the way the, the camera goes. Can we kill this thing? They're like underneath us. How do we shoot them? Oh, I guess con control. No, it's still. Let's run. Maybe we just run away from them. Just listening. It's an interesting game. Interesting story as well. Ah, uh, witch. Any last words before I let the forest have its wicked way with you? Could we talk? I must say, this is not how I was expecting this evening to go, and that's all we had time for in the jam. That's fair. I hope they continue this. It's a good background, some good storylines. This is a solid start. I'm dead. <laughs> Next. We're playing Truffle Snuffle. WSD space. Got it. So Snuffle is the name of a pig who loves truffles, and that's what we're doing. We're collecting truffles. We're ignoring whatever that is. Looks like a worm. The Truffians. Fair, okay. Truffians are bad though, clearly. Oh, there's a lot of them now. It suddenly switched like a very different perspective. I don't know how I feel about it. It's 
It's hard to see stuff. I'm getting hit a lot. Let's actually drop down. Can we drop down? I'm actually collecting these. There we go. Ah. Oh. There we go. Alright, so we're on these big flat areas. It's like a first person look, but whatever we're not, it's um side scroller. I find side scroller is much easier to sort of know what's going on. I can't get that truffle. Well this one. Oh. Next. We're playing X Maze Presence. Ooh. Is this door locked? Check. Wall mounted lamp. Really, where is the light coming from? It's fastened to the wall. Nothing in my inventory. Check. Use. I don't quite understand what's going on. I feel like I'm in like an empty room. Alright, check. Just a rectangle, not rectangular wood. People used to call doors a red marking on it. I need a key, okay. So I can only turn around if there's another route. But because it's so close in view, turning around feels weird. I can't really tell how many, like, how far I'm turning, I guess. Can't take anything. You can only turn off all the lights. I don't know. Next. That was the last game that I'm going to be able to play from this jam. There were one other game that was entered, but I can't play it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed some of the games in these sets and found some to play yourself. Um, that's it. Bye.